Hi, my name is Roshan and I'm from Spicer Consulting. Today I'll introduce to you one of our products, the SC11SI. This is used to make surveys and environment looking at the magnetic fields, the floor vibrations and sound levels. The SC11SI is used in preparation for installing a lithography machine or electron microscope or many other devices. By using the SC11SI, you can work out the best location to put your device so that it functions and works properly. Let's unpack the Site Survey Kit. Here, all the pieces are at the case so that you can view them properly. This package contains everything you need to produce a detailed survey of an environment. Here is a sensor interface. This is the hub of the SC11 SI system. All of the sensors plug into this device. It has ports for two magnetic field sensors, as well as three vibration sensors. There's also a general purpose DC auxiliary input via BC BNC connector at the back of the interface, and a microphone sensor in port as well. This is a Spicer Consulting 3-axis magnetic field DC sensor. It can be used to measure AC and DC fields. This is a Wilcoxing Research seismic accelerometer. There are three that come with a full SC11 SI package. There is also a Brulian Cure high precision microphone included. These sensors come with all the required cables needed to set up the SC11 SI system. So, you've got all the kit, but before you perform a survey, set up the SC11 system to perform a self test. This is to make sure that all the sensors are connected properly and are working before used to make an accurate survey of an environment. This is the test area. We've exposed the concrete floor because later on when we put down accelerometers they will need to be in contact with it. First of all, attach the two DC sensors. Put them next to each other and facing in the same direction so that they measure the same magnetic fields. The self-test checks for discrepancies between the two readings of the DC sensors. Then attach the three accelerometers. Use the self-test template to put the accelerometers end down in the correct positions. Make sure that they have direct and clean contact with the floor. Also, handle these carefully for they are very sensitive. The self-test checks that the sensors measure the same floor vibration. Also connect the accelerometers. Once again, make sure they are put into the correct colour-coded port. Plug in the microphone. This has an internal mechanism to make sure that it is functioning correctly. Now it's time to power up the SC11SI and connect the sensor interface into the laptop with the cables provided. We're ready to start the self-test. OK, so now it's time to perform the self-test. Find and open the survey program. This program enables you to make automated measurements of magnetic, acoustic and vibration signals. On the Start tab, you will see a step-by-step -step guide to performing a survey. Click Next to bring up the Sensors tab. Here select which sensors are being used. Make sure that the serial numbers on the window correspond to the serial numbers located on the sensor interface and the sensors attached. Make sure that the serial numbers for the DC sensors are correct. For example, here the DC sensor marked with the white colour band is plugged into the MAG1 port and its serial number matches the serial number for the three axis magne magnetic sensor 1 on the program window. Make sure that the serial numbers for the accelerometers are correct. For example, here the X axis accelerometer marked with the red spot is plugged into the VIB1 port and its serial number matches the serial number for the vibration 1 on the program window. 
With the sensors connected, matching the sensors selected on the sensors tab, move forward onto the next tab. Click the self-test macro button to perform the macro running the self-test. Here you see the macro running different programs that are part of the analysis system software to take readings from the sensors. The self-test survey runs for roughly two minutes, but here you'll see the self-test being speeded up. When the macro is finished running, the result window gives a summary of the tests that the macro ran on the sensors. A report is created with each self-test. This report contains more detailed data with graphs of the readings that were made. Clicking this icon leads us to the report. If the test passes, move on to the next tab. If not, the report will help you identify why the self-test failed. Here's a self-test that I performed earlier. Here the report shows that the vibration on the x-axis is much reduced than the Y and the Z axis. This would indicate that the sensor was unplugged, therefore making it quite simple to solve. So, having completed the self-test, position the sensors to perform a survey. First of all, put the accelerometers in their correct position. Align the vibration template with the axis of the instrument for which you're making the survey X is left to right, Y is back to front, and Z is vertical. Use a template to align the sensors along the X, Y and Z axis. Match the colour coding of the directions on the template to the sensor colours. Then erect the tripod with its support for the two DC sensors. Make sure the DC sensors are at the right height and fasten to keep them secure. Also make sure that the DC sensors are facing in the Y axis direction, aligning itself with the Y axis direction on the accelerometer template. Use one or two sensors depending on what type of microscope you want to install. For an SEM, use one sensor and place it at column height. For a TEM, use two sensors. If there is a GIF, place one at the GIF and one at the stage. If there is no GIF, place one at the stage and one at the gun height. Last of all, attach the microphone. Now with the SC11 system set up, we're ready to go back to the software and perform a survey. For this video, I will use a pre-installed standard survey. Choose how many surveys you would like to run. Here I select just one survey. Click Start Survey. The macro for this survey will then start to run. It calls up the other programs which are part of the SC11 analysis system package to take measurements and make a report from all the data acquired. Here is another speeded up sequence of the survey running. Open up the results folder to view the measurement files and the report. The report and measurement files will help inform a decision of whether putting a machine in that location is suitable or not. If that location is not suitable, but you still want to install a microscope there, Spicy Consulting provides solutions to magnetic fields problems. Check out our website for more details on the SC20 and the SC22 cancelling systems.